Tiredness is not just etched on Rashida Yahya's face, but also her three children. She fled fighting 17 years ago to live here in Kelma Camp in South Darfur and says the past three years have been the hardest. Life here in the camp is different from life outside. Here there's a lot of suffering. Outside things are available, but here we lack many things. We lack enough food, there's shortage of water, we have to go out searching for our basic needs. Kelma is one of the largest displacement camps in the Darfur region, home to more than 150,000 people. Many arrived when the war began in 2003 between government forces and rebel groups fighting against marginalization. The rebels accused the Sudanese government of oppressing non-Arab tribes. The UN says war in Darfur killed more than 300,000 people and displaced over 3 million. The Sudanese government's military campaign resulted in an arrest warrant for now deposed President Omar al-Bashir. The ICC warned him for war crimes, crimes against humanity and genocide. A joint AUUN mission was launched in 2007 to reduce the violence, but troop levels have been reduced in the past year and is set to end next year. Kalma Camp has become a town more than a displacement camp, housing people who fled from violence not only in South Darfur, but the other parts of the Darfur region. And while fighting may have ebbed compared to when the war started in 2003, many people say they're yet to see actual signs of peace and security to convince them to return home. Sudan's new transitional government following months of anti-government protests and the ousting of Bashir has said its first priority is achieving peace. Sudan's government and armed groups, including those fighting in Darfur, signed a deal to start talks in October. The country's sovereign council says peace falls not only on those negotiating it, but on the people as well. We need the people to be united. We don't want any more fighting. We don't want people to be divided. We want unity. Those who have done wrong in this region must say what they've done wrong so that the country reaches peace. The country is now going through a change, so people must be patient and wait for things to improve. But camp residents have heard it all before. They've seen dozens of peace deals fail, and no one will represent them in the latest talks. The previous government negotiated more than 40 peace deals with Darfur in the past 18 years. Now we don't believe in talks, and we have not chosen anyone to negotiate on our behalf. So we doubt that there will be peace because people have been picked to present us. I don't even know them. No one came to ask for our opinions. Talks that will affect not only Rashida and her children, but the future of all those displaced by conflicts in Sudan. Hibo Morgan Al Jazeera, Niala, South Darfur.